Good morning students. Welcome back to computer class. What did we study in our last class? We studied about functions of operating system. Hope all of you have understood that topic and also have revised that particular topic. Next we will be studying about operating system based on user interface. I have told you that whenever you switch on your computer, it takes a second or more for you to see your home page. Why? Because operating system is getting loaded into the memory. What is that process known as? The process of loading operating system into the memory. It is known as booting. Okay. So once the operating system gets loaded into the memory, you will be able to see your desktop. And what are the things you can see inside the desktop? You can see some icons, menus, toolbar, windows, buttons, etc. And basically, you communicate with your computer by using this menus, icons, toolbars, etc. That is if I want to write something inside the computer. I want to use the application MS Word. So, for, I will be double clicking on the icon MS Word and uh, the application opens and I will write something inside that. So, basically uh, the users communicate with the computer by using this menus, icons, toolbars, buttons etc. And this is known as user interface. That is user interface is a set of commands, menus and icon that a user need to communicate with the computer. A user interface is a set of commands, menus, icons that a user need to communicate with the computer. Okay. This is what you mean by a user interface. And user interface is an important part of an operating system. That is operating system becomes complete only with an user interface. Operating system is a software that works at the behind. What we users can see is this user interface. Okay. And um, with that user interface, the operating system becomes more attractive to the users. It becomes more user friendly. So things becomes easy for a user. Okay. That is how uh, we, uh, that is what you mean by an user interface. Okay. And the operating system has been divided into two types based on user interface. That is operating system based on user interface are of two types. That is CUI and GUI. CUI and GUI. And again we will be studying in detail about this CUI and GUI. Next, we will be studying about CUI. That is the operating system based on user interface. They are divided into two parts. That is one is CUI and another one is GUI. First, we will be studying about CUI. Now, what is the full form of CUI? It is character user interface or command line user interface. Full form of CUI is Character user interface or command line user interface. Please study this full form. This will be asked as one word. Okay. Then what is the definition of CUI? It is a user interface in which tasks are performed by typing commands. So this is a user interface in which whatever task or whatever work you have to do inside the computer, you should type command for that. For example, if you want to open a file, usually you open a file by double clicking on a, on that particular icon. But in this user interface, there are no menus, there are no icons, toolbars, windows, buttons, etc. What you have is just only a black screen. And insert that black screen, you have to type commands for doing any work. Okay, that is what you mean by a CUI. It is a User interface in which tasks are performed by typing commands. Okay. Then next point is it uses command prompt to enter commands into the computer. For entering a command into the computer, they use command prompt. 
ओके वॉट यू मी बी कमैंड प्रॉम्ट अ कमैंड प्रॉम्ट इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टेक्स्ट एंड सिंपल्स एंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सी यू आई इज एम एस डोस ओके एम एस डोस इज अ टाइप ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सी यू आई इज एम एस डोस सी इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी अ ब्लैक स्क्रीन एंड दिस ब्लैक स्क्रीन इज नोन एस कमैंड प्रॉम्ट ओके दिस इज अ कमैंड प्रॉम्ट ऑफ एम एस डोस ओके एंड इन दिस ब्लैक स्क्रीन Uh, you can see there is a date given, time given, uh, the uh, location of a file given, and uh, whatever task we have to do, it is being given. So this is a command prompt. This black screen is a command prompt, and in this command prompt, you will be typing commands for doing any task. Okay. So this is what you mean by a CUI, and. one of the advantage of cui is that it is easy to understand we can uh, execution takes place faster and one of the disadvantage is that it is not user friendly because users have to remember all these commands that is for opening a file he have to remember a command for doing any other work inside the computer he have to remember all these commands okay so that means it is not user friendly it becomes difficult for user to do anything inside the computer okay so this is all about cui that is cui means it is a user interface in which whatever task we have to do we have to type command and for typing command we use a command prompt a command prompt it is a black box like which we see in that picture and inside this we will be typing command example of a cui is ms dos okay coming on to the next type of operating system that is based on user interface it is gui what is the full form of gui it is graphical user interface full form of gui is graphical user interface what was the full form of cui character user interface or command line user interface so you should remember this full forms it will be asked as one word okay and what do you mean by graphical user interface it is a user interface in which they have got menus icons buttons windows on the screen okay so in this picture what you see is a graphical user interface all of you are familiar with this screen that is whenever you have opened your desktop you have seen this on your screen and you have seen this menus icons buttons toolbars etc and all of you have used them also okay so a gui means it is a user interface in which they have got menus icons buttons etc okay then what is the next point a user can carry out any task by simply clicking a mouse how did you perform a task inside cui you have to type commands a cui was a just a black screen and inside that you have to type commands for doing a work for example if you want to open a file you have to right command for opening file but here if you want to do a task you can do them by simply clicking the mouse for opening a file you just have to click click on the mouse so one of the advantage of gui is that it is user friendly in cui you have to remember all commands so it becomes difficult for users for remembering all these commands in gui a user has doesn't have to remember this commands he can just do his task easily okay that is the difference between cui and gui and example of gui is microsoft windows and mac operating system all of you are familiar with this microsoft windows isn't it okay so this is about gui next we'll be starting about advantages of gui first point is a gui is visually appealing and attractive we know that cui is just a black screen and uh, what uh, it has got is just 
text and symbols but in gui they have got menus icons buttons toolbars so a gui becomes more attractive to users okay then second point is it is easier to work as compared to cui we know why because cu inside cui if we have to do any work you have to type commands and user have to remember all these commands but in gui user doesn't have to remember any commands he can do any task by simply clicking on the mouse okay then now third point is a gui provides remote access what do you mean by remote access it means that you can me sitting at my home i can access a computer which is present in america or england europe etc now we know that a uh, people are working from home that is uh, they are working at home by using their laptop by using their laptop they can access their uh, computer which is present at their office this is what we mean by remote access that is we can access a computer which is present at some other location okay then next point is gui enable users to carry out multiple tasks at the same time we have studied about this a uh, types of operating system that is single user multitask what do you mean by that inside single user multitask only one user is allowed to use the computer but he can do multiple task that is he can open microsoft word and type something at the same time he can open youtube and download a movie at the same time he can open calculator and do some type some type of calculations that is at at a time he is doing three work that is what you mean by gui enables user to do multiple tasks at the same time okay the last point is it enables it, it its users to view control and switch between different application at the same time that is a user can open uh, microsoft word and he can type something inside that at the same time he can open youtube and he can download a movie at the same time he can open a calculator and he can calculate something that is at the same time he is viewing three different applications and he is switching from one application to another okay that is what you mean by it enables it users to view switch and control different applications at the same time okay so this is about advantages of gui next topic is about differences between cui and gui first point full form of cui is character user interface and gui is graphical user interface first point is a cui uses a keyboard to give command input commands to the computer and a gui uses a keyboard mouse or fingers to give input commands or instruction to the computer we know that in cui we can provide commands only by typing them so for typing we can use only a keyboard and in gui we know that we can they have got icons buttons task bar etc so for inputting commands in gui we can use keyboard mouse fingers or any of the input devices that is first point second point a user need to type all the commands on the command prompt in gui a user need to click on the icon buttons windows and menus on the screen to give commands we have studied that in cui for typing commands we use a command prompt what is a command prompt it is a black screen and inside that we can type commands and in gui we have studied that for uh, doing any activity we have got icons buttons windows menus etc we just have to click on them third point a user need to remember all the commands and their syntax in gui a user gives commands by simply clicking on the icons and buttons on the screen 
we have studied the disadvantage of cui is uh, that was that it was not user friendly that is user have to remember all the commands in gui gui is a user friendly user interface because a user can do a activity by or they can provide a command by simply clicking on the icons and buttons example of a cui is ms dos and linux and example of gui are microsoft windows and mac operating system so this is the difference between cui and gui we have studied in detail about both of them in our other videos so with this we come to the end of first chapter in this chapter we studied about operating system functions of operating system types of operating system user interfaces a user interface has been divided into two types they were cui and gui we studied in detail about them and at last we studied differences between cui and gui so with this i am ending my section today and also we have come to the end of first chapter and with this beauty i am attaching the exercise part questions Mm, that is the true or false answer the following tick the correct answers so uh, you should uh, note down this things in your notebook too thank you